guys, this is Lala Legacy, and welcome back to From Next Door. So, let's go into this room and take off these boards. I have a bad feeling about this room. Like, because every time we go in there, the light is off. Uh, <laughs> there's going to be something going on about that. Look, yes. Um... You can see a faint glimmer inside the house next door. It looks like some kind of light. There's someone inside. The light looks very faint, though, and it flickers rapidly. Maybe it's just a reflection on the glass? No, it really looks like it's coming from the inside. The light is gone. You have Honda-san's nail puller. Use it? Yeah. Although you don't know how much this old thing can take, you start pulling out the nails one by one. That's two down. You still have two more boards to remove. Miraculously, the nail puller hasn't fallen apart, but it looks to be dangerously close to its breaking point. Still continue removing the boards? Uh, honestly, no. You really shouldn't do this. You're supposed to give the nail puller back in one piece. You can call Omura-san tomorrow and ask him how, or ask him to set you up with a professional, and then you can give this back to Honda-san. I'm gonna look though. Okay, nothing. Uh, why was that light off? Anyways, let me. Whoopsie. Save before we continue. It's the phone. Call someone? Yes, Amura-san. Oh. Call him tomorrow? Okay. That's fine. We can do that. It's getting late. You shouldn't go outside. Oh. Alright then. Turn on the light. Let's check our email. Okay, never mind. It's your new bed. Maybe you should wait till tomorrow to talk or talk to Umura san about the window. And the day, yeah. Ah, I don't like this. All right, work's done. I can get to other things now. Okay, that's all the same. Call Omura-san. Furukawa Housing, Omura speaking. Omura-san, it's Nami Matsuda again. Oh, yes, Matsuda-san, about that room. Yeah, that. I already found the key. Really? Where? Inside the previous tenant's things. Oh, is that so? Yeah, I thought I'd let you know. I found something else, too. It's a wallet. Wallet? Yeah, it belongs to a guy named Daisuke... or Daisuke Sen. Does that name sound familiar to you? Uh, yes. Well, well, that's the previous tenant's name. You say you found his wallet? Yeah, why would he leave his wallet behind? Maybe he just forgot it. His entire wallet? With all the documents, credit cards, and everything inside? Well, it can happen. Do you have a way for me to contact him then? I'd like to give it back. Uh, I could pass it on to him if you want. I think I'd like to give it to him in person. Can't you give me his phone number or something? I'm afraid not, and that, and it's not that I don't want to. It's just that I'm not the one with his personal information. Then who has it? It's another guy, the one that was in charge of the house before me. He was the one who dealt with Daisuke Sen's contract. He tried a few, or he tried to find a new tenant for the house after Sen left, but he just couldn't do it, so they passed it on to me. Well, can you try asking him then, please? I'll see what I can do. I'll call you later. Wait, Omura-san, there's something else, too. What is it? About the locked room. It's weird. I found the window inside all boarded up. I was wondering if you could find me someone to get those things off. Boarded up? Ah, uh, yes, I believe I can. I think I can even find someone to go over there today. Is that okay? Yeah. All right, then. I'll get someone to stop by later today. All right, thanks, Omura-san. 
Okay, let's call mom. Oh, all right. Well, I guess we shouldn't bother her. That's fine. Let's save. And go outside so we can give her back her thing. Matsuda-san, does the nail puller work all right for you? I tried, but I think it's too fragile for what I need, so I'm here to give it back. Oh, it's a shame. I'm sorry I wasn't of any use. It's okay. I already got someone coming over to help me with it. But still, thanks, Honda-san. It's no problem. All right. You have no business here. All right, fine. Is that the guy Omura-san sent? That was fast. Nobody's out there, are they? Oh, okay. Thanks for coming. Okay, now that's done. Uh -huh. I don't like this. Nope. Whoopsie. Wrong room. Look, yes. The windows are open. That window is open. Maybe there is someone living there after all. There's a bunch of junk inside the closet. Okay, nothing's, nothing new. All right. Still need to unpack these. It's getting late. Well, I mean, okay, so everything else is the same. Okay, yeah, it looks like everything else is still the same. Oops, okay, end the day. Fine, whatever. I'll just save afterwards. Okay, nothing weird happened. Good. I feel like I haven't done anything productive in ages. Maybe I should call Aizawa from work to see if there's anything for me. Though she's just going to scold me for trying to work during this vacation. All right. Let me save. <clears throat> but first... Okay, so that's the same as before. The phone's ringing. Is it Amora-san? Hello? Matsuda-san, I, I got that contact information you asked for. You did? What is it? Well, I couldn't get a hold of a phone number or anything, but I did get an email address. Or, or anything will do, Omura-san. Omura-san tells you the address and you write it down. And that's it. Thank you, Omura-san. Matsuda-san. Yeah? I had a talk with the other agent, the one that was in charge of the house or of this house before. He strongly advised me not to give this to you. Why? According to him, the previous tenant was a bit perturbed. But, or I'm not quite sure what he meant by that, but please keep in mind, or please keep that in mind when you contact San Matsuda-san. Don't worry about it, Omura-san. Stay safe, Matsuda-san. Uh, yikes. Okay, can't call mom. <laughs> All right, I guess. Let's go up and email him then. It's your computer. Yeah. You sit down to type an email to Daisuke Sen. What should I ask him about? About why he left. Hello, my name is Namie Matsuda. You don't know me, but I just moved into your old house. You sent the message. You stay in front of your laptop, anxiously waiting for a reply, despite having no expectations of it being answered right away, if at all. This is just making me antsy. I wish I had something to do. 
A new email? It can't be him already. It is! You quickly open the message. Back of closet, hidden door. Hidden door? Which closet? You type in a response quickly and wait for a few moments, but there's no answer. What does it mean? He mentioned a hidden door inside a closet. Look for it? Yeah. You couldn't find it. Maybe this isn't the right closet. I know which closet. It's this one. Maybe not? Well, the only other closet is... There was a hollow sound somewhere. Sounds like it came from behind the wood. You slide your hand across the wood until your fingers stumble upon some sort of indentation. It's a small square of wood separated from the rest of, or rest at the bottom of the closet. You pull it open. There's a small cavity underneath, just big enough to fit a handful of things inside. You stick your hand in, grasping for whatever is inside. You pull out a small notebook. What is this? You flip it open on the first page. The house. Empty? One single window. No matter how much I knock, no one answers. No one has ever seen its occupants. But I saw a light inside yesterday. Just a reflection? The window was open today. I tried looking inside, but couldn't see anything. Grabbed a flashlight to look inside. Nothing. It's completely pitch black. I found my own window open today. I'm pretty sure it was locked. I think I saw... And then the rest of it is... torn off. The page is torn in half. Flipping it reveals that a handful of other pages have been completely torn out and the rest are blank, ex all except for one. They don't really believe me, do they? They already found part of my research and had it confiscated for my own good, which is why I'm hiding this here, although I decided to keep what's left of my research inside the safe. What exactly is this? Is it talking about that window in that house? And a safe? Is there a safe here somewhere? Well, I haven't seen a safe. Have I? I don't think so. Um... Well, this is a shoe rack. Shouldn't bother Honda san right now. You have no business here. Okay. Well. I don't see. I'm going to click on everything. Maybe it's in here. No? Back of closet, hidden door. Okay, well, I don't see anything. That notebook mentioned a safe. Is it around here somewhere? Okay. So I do have to look for it. Oh, the only other place that I haven't looked is the bathroom. Yeah, check the cabinet under the sink. Or not. Okay. Well, it wasn't there. I looked at everything in there. Oh, right there. There's a safe behind the painting. Is it the one that, or is it the one mentioned in the notebook? You try to open it, but it seems to require a passcode. What was that? The sound seems to have come from the tatami room. Oh no! <laughs> the vase fell. 
fell down on the floor. Must have been the wind. Ah ha ha ha. The window is open. Was it the wind? The other house's window is open also. Like that notebook said, you can't see anything. Or you can't see a thing. It's pitch black inside. You close the window and lock it tight. I'll figure the safe thing tomorrow. Oh, God. You hear something. Footsteps? Is someone out there? What should you do? Go lock the door. You carefully lock the door and stand still, holding your breath. Is there really someone out there? What do they want? Whatever it is, it's knocking right outside the door. You stayed up the rest of the night, listening intently next to the door. The noises stopped eventually, but you only entertained the idea of going outside at well after uh, sunrise. I don't like this. <laughs> Duh, the floor is covered in dirty footprints. Looking closely, the footprints don't look like they were made by a person. An animal, maybe? The footprints come from here. It looks like something entered through the window. But I locked it last night, didn't I? There's a strange black substance stuck to the lock. It looks like some kind of spider, black spider web. You close the window again, wiping the substance away. I should probably clean this up, too. No, you should take pictures of it, you dumb bimbo. Okay, I have no idea what it is, though. Yes, read the email. Safe. A new message? Mathematics Volume 4. Point, Spiral, Helix, Axis. What is this? Mathematics Volume 4. Is this, or is this what said meant? You pick up the book. It's marked on a specific page. It's a chapter about spirals. Okay. Uh, let's fix the center point. So... Two for point? Hold on. Whoopsie. Let me read his email again. So point, spiral, helix, and axis. Let me write this down. So. Point, spiral, Helix Axis. Okay. Now let's go back out so I can read through it again. Okay. Fix center. Point at a continuously increasing or decreasing distance from the point. Okay. A three-dimensional curve that turns around 
an axis at a constant or continuously varying distance. Oh, maybe it's one. Helix would be two. Maybe. A two-dimensional spiral may be described most easily using polar coordinates where the radius r is a monotonic continuous function of angle zero. I think that's zero. So that would be spiral Uh, the circle would be regarded as a degenerate case, the function not being strictly monotonic, but rather constant. For simple 3D spirals, the third variable, h, height, is also a continuous monotonic function of zero. For example, a conic helix may be defined as a spiral on a conic surface with a distance to the apex an exceptional function of zero. The helix and vortex can be viewed as a kind of three-dimensional spiral. The study of spirals in nature have a long history. Christopher Wren observed that many shells or yeah that many shells form a logar or logarithmic spiral. Jan Swammerdam observed the common mathematical characteristics of a wide range of shells from helix to spirula, and Henry Nottage Mosley described the mathematics of, um, of univalue shells. Darcy Wentworth Thompson's On Growth and Form gives extensive treatment to these spirals. He describes how shells are formed, by rotating the closed curve around a fixed axis. The shape of the curve remains fixed, but its size grows in a geometric, progress or a geometric progression. In some shells, such as natalis and um, ammonites, the, ge the generating curve revolves in a plane perpendicular to the axis, and the shell will form a planar dis or discoid shape. In others, it follows a skew path, forming a heli ah, helico-spiral helico pattern. Thompson also studied spirals according, or not according, occurring in horns, teeth, claws, and plants. Okay, so what about the axis? Is that also a two? Could be. I'm gonna look. One, zero, two, two? No. Oops, one, zero, two, three? Definitely not. Okay, well, I am actually well out of time, guys. So, if you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up down below. And if you haven't already, subscribe. By subscribing, you're becoming part of a legacy. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!